Today you're going to learn music theory in five minutes. A lot of times we skip the music theory step in our guitar journey. The reason for that is, is we tend to think of music theory as a system of rules telling us what we can and can't do as opposed to just a tool to help you get the sounds you want. Let's say you want to write a song that has that Egyptian pharaoh vibe. Well, the Phrygian dominant scale is the answer and you can go straight to that instead of sort of hunting around for a long time and figuring out that, okay, these particular notes get that sound. Stay on track with your guitar gains by signing up to my free music newsletter below. Get free tabs and exclusive course discounts. Go to the next level with my full music theory course. The ultimate way to explode your guitar growth is with my Patreon page. This is the perfect time to join because I'm just releasing the Faster by the Day series program. Get one practice session every week to take you from zero to hero. I'm gonna get my timer going to keep me on track here, and we're gonna shoot to spend one minute on each topic in music theory. So I'm gonna hit start, and we're gonna get going. So the first thing is you gotta learn to read music. So the notes on the staff, what you have is E, and then it goes G, B, D, and F. So that is the place to start when it comes to learning the notes on the staff. Every good boy does fine. E, G, B, D, and F. Now here's the way it works on the spaces on the staff, right? So I'm using the tabs here, but try to you know look at the actual staff. We got F, then it goes to A. Whoops, hold on a minute. A, and then C. And E, and the good thing about this is it just spells the word face. Okay, we're out of time. We got to move on to the next topic, which is intervals, the distance between two notes. Think about Black Sabbath song, Black Sabbath. You got this evil tritone happening right there between this G and C sharp. That is all an interval is, it's just the distance between two notes there. And this is really important because it's going to help us with the next topic, which is scales. There's a bunch of different intervals, um, but that's just one of them. You've got the minor second, you got the major second, minor third, major third. Learn each one of those. Let's move on to scales. Now scales are just a series of notes that connect an octave. You can think about, let's tell you what, let's, uh, let's think about Iron Maiden's song, Fear of the Dark here. Now I'm gonna explain what I just did there in a minute. But um, the scale, the D minor scale, right? So let's see, let me use eighth notes here. We've got D, then we've got E, F, G, a, B flat, and C. That is the scale used in Fear of the Duck slash Dark by Iron Maiden. What am I at here? We're at two minutes and 25 seconds. So, and we've covered, I'm actually ahead of schedule. We've got to slow down, slow down, shred. So this is the D minor scale. And there's a bunch of different scales, but <clears throat> the point of a scale is just the have a, a group of notes that you know is going to sound good together. And nothing else matters. Let's move on to the next topic, which is going to be chords. Now, I'm actually, let's see, let's go back to key of C here. Think about Nothing Else Matters by Metallica, right? Now, this song relies on an E minor chord, and a chord really is just three or more notes at a time. So there it is, there's our three notes. E, then you got G and B. It's very important to get this structure down in your mind. Uh, other chords that Nothing Else Matters use um, uses, we got D major. <clears throat> I need some more WAP juice here, excuse me. D major is spelled D, F sharp, and A. And then you have C major is also used, which is C, 
you got E, whoops, hold on a minute, that's not right, you got C, and then we've got E, and G. Those are the three primary chords in Nothing Else Matters. All right, moving on. Key signatures are the last main thing you need to learn when it comes to music theory. And a key signature groups a series of notes together. Think about um, Dave Mustaine and Megadeth. Now, the song Tornado of Souls uses the B minor key signature. If, you know, when you, I don't know if you ever play that song, but it starts on the seventh fret of the low E string. That is a B note, right? So that position there is B minor. And the sharps here, what that means is that you're going to play uh, F sharp and C sharp. So every note, uh, let's say, you know, you have B, C, D, E, F, G, and A, just make sure that when you come to a C and an F, you got those notes sharped. And my five minutes is up. And we're just gonna do a little bonus round here because this is gonna bother me if I don't flesh out this idea. The B minor scale, I just wanna show you guys this. So B, C sharp, not C. So that's where this key signature comes into play. That note right there is saying, you know, sharp the C. Um, then you have D, then it goes to E. Then we have F sharp because of the key signature right there. If I didn't have this key signature in, you know, you would see that in the accidental listed here. So keys are a really big deal. It's probably, I would say, the biggest game changer if you want to improve your lead playing. So if, you, if you're interested in how to solo, this is a complete, I mean, Oh man, like when I was going to school, um, now if you're curious about music theory and you wanna learn a little bit more, maybe just get your feet wet, check out my free newsletter below. That's also gonna give you some motivation and inspiration to stay on track. I know that's something we all struggle with. <laughs> Go into more depth on music theory with my full course. And then Patreon is a way to kind of like really go deep. So the main thing is that you stay hungry to learn and improve. Don't get overwhelmed with everything there is to learn. Use my BBC method, which is, of course, stands for British Broadcasting Corporation. <laughs> The B stands for believe you can do it. The second B is break it down, and the C is celebrate. These three keys will help you stay consistent and improve over time. Playing guitar is a tremendous privilege, a sacred ritual. Every time I pick up the six string, I think to myself, this is an incredible opportunity to push my artistry further, be able to speak a universal language that anyone can understand and it's a journey of self-development that you go on the reality is is that we're all human and it's not easy to get up sometimes right and live life and keep practicing sometimes all it takes is a little encouragement from your fellow shredder what are you waiting for let's go finger the g string